morning. What's up guys, Ranger Liz here with uh, a video. Man, you know, you fell back, I fell back in February. Maybe this would be a video I would make. In the future, I didn't expect the future to be right now because the big news, the huge news, the little gym is partnering with Saban Brands. Oh wait, the other big news. Power Rangers just got bought by Hasbro. Now, just got bought. They're going to be bought by Hasbro. It's not it's not official yet because basically they they've signed the paperwork saying Hasbro goes, hey, I'm going to buy you. And so everyone goes, yeah, cool, that's fine. Here you go. They're in an agreement that this is going to happen. But with any giant business deals, you got, you know, regulatory committees and it has to go through the proper steps. They are hoping everything is going to be done by the end of quarter two this year. This year. What? This is going to be crazy. And it's uh, the end of quarter two, mind you, is the end of June. The end of June. That means by the time the show comes back from summer hiatus, by the time we've already had, oh my God, we won't, we won't even have had the show come back from hiatus. We won't even have Power of Morphicon. And Hasbro will officially own it. Who knows what is going to happen. But I'm telling you, in the days and weeks to follow, I, of course, I'm going to be staying up on this. So, you know, uh, shameless plug, hit that subscribe button and you won't miss a video whenever I go over all the new stuff. Last video that I just posted is like the, is a press release. Let's go. So I read you the press release. I talked about it a little bit. But now I'm just going to talk about my thoughts on, on this amazing thing that is happening and I say amazing I'm sure there are great people at Saban brands that are not having a very good day right now because the brand that they've worked on and everything is was just sold so you know like I, I feel for them but I am I'm really hyped for Hasbro to take over this brand because I think they're going to pump in such much needed uh, fresh ideas, new blood. They they know what it's like to sell toys. I mean, they have Transformers. Transformers has still lots of toys. I don't I don't follow Transformers, but I have friends that buy the toys, and they are still buying the toys. And I'm like, I don't know. Is there another movie coming out? Is where are these toys coming from? It doesn't matter. But they still buy them, and that Hasbro. We already are looking for more awesome toys to buy. It's like they just saw the collectors of Power Rangers and went, yeah, yeah, we need that. Uh, I guess I should. I wrote down a ton of notes. If this starts getting way too windy, I'm just going to break it up into my thoughts on Hasbro buying Power Rangers in relation to the movie, the TV show, the toys, uh, all of that I want to cover. So this may be a, a multi-part series, but what I'm going to talk about first is why why is, did this happen so fast? In the press release, you, you basically hear, once we started dealing with this master toy license, they realized what they could do with the brand, and so they bought it. They bought it early, because remember, they could have bought it when we first talked about Hasbro was acquiring the master toy license. That was back in February. We talked about that. Remember that crazy week? In February, we had where it was like Hasbro's buying the Master Toy license, Power Rangers got the new logo, uh, Beast Morphers. Well, was, I, I titled it, there's a folder on my computer just called The Weekend of Craziness. And it's like that entire thing to look back. This, is, is this bigger? Is this bigger? It, maybe with Hasbro, they probably have more money. Maybe they can work out with Nickelodeon and all oh, man do it. I'm not talking about the show yet, Liz. I'm not talking about the show yet. Woo! I don't know if you guys follow Pokemon Go at all, but I am so hyped. I sound like Mystic 7 right now. Oh, and it's not totally because I've had way too much coffee, and this is a big mug. Oh, new Pokemon Go event starting soon, so woo -hoo. Why did they buy it so early? They have that much faith in the series that they bought it already. They looked at the numbers, they looked at what they had, and Hasbro, Power Rangers is in like 150 markets around the world. Hasbro's probably already 
in a lot of those markets, it's not gonna take a lot for them to be able to shift and just add another toy thing. They already know what it's like to own a toy brand that's also a TV show because that's what Power Rangers is. It's a show that sells toys and merchandise to people like me to make money. And there's a show that comes along with it. This could be I mean, this just could just be what the brand needs in general. And here I am so hyped for the 25th anniversary. And we, I mean, we still have some awesome things on the way. This to me was like the sign saying, Liz, you're, you're going to be doing this for a long time because there's a lot of news. And I think that the state of Ranger Nation is very strong right now, which is crazy because I... You know, you look back at like months and months ago before all of that news broke and I think it was maybe around December or November somewhere in there. I was talking about how I felt like the brand as is, just Power Ranger in general, was at its absolute lowest peak. People were hating Ninja Steel. Uh, we had Boom Studios, but Shatter Grid like wasn't out yet. We, uh, Hyperforce, like, had just gotten started. So not as many people were like, oh my god, you know, still still getting into it. Legacy Wars was still pretty new, and now we have so many amazing things, and Hasbro's like, give me! Uh, Hasbro's also acquiring other stuff from Saban brands, like Popples, and I'm not talking about any of that, because I don't care. We're only talking about Power Rangers. What are they gonna do? They are, they are that confident in this brand as it is right now that they bought it this fast. Ugh. Ugh. So, so maybe let's talk toys, because we're already, I'm already like almost seven and a half minutes in this. Let's talk some toys. What do I think is going to happen with the toys? I've talked about this a bit before because we've known they're taking over the toys since February, but now that they're also going to be running the show, these toys, I mean, we could be seeing them using more American-made toys in the show. We could be seeing and, 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 and original footage. I'm not saying they're going to film Sentai footage with American toys. Like, nothing of that. I'm strictly talking, you know, American footage. But we could be seeing more big toy exclusives or show exclusive things. Now, Bandai did do that, of course, with cockpit mode and everything, but I think there could be, there's going to be a continuation and maybe even a building. I think the, as excited as I was about the toys, I'm even more excited now because imagine when you have not just the person who's doing the toys because you had Saban Brand and you had Bandai and they had to work together. You know, Bandai had to say, these are the toys we want to do. Saban had to either work it into the show or work how they want it to look. But if Hasbro owns everything, they're going to be able to do whatever they want. There's not going to be a second thing. There's going to be their own internal toy team, their own internal creative team. And I, I think the quality of the toys is going to go up. I, I mean, this, like right here, guys, Beast Morphers. Beast Morphers. D ah, I'll talk about that whenever I try to talk about the TV show stuff. But I think... This from Bandai, I was a little like, eh. This from Hasbro, I think they're going to be able to do a lot better. Let's see what I got. Got this guy. So this, this is seriously the last uh, Bandai Megazord I bought was Super, Meg Super Mega Force. Was this guy. Uh, I mean, yeah, sorry to Zord Builder. I don't think that's going to be sticking around. But maybe they'll have their own way to do it. I mean it's it's literally just it's clips and it's it's okay so the last clip is for his tail so it's on his butt but it's just it's a peg it's a peg in his butt we're gonna leave that one right there I, I'm so hyped for the toys and I hope you are too and as far as licensing goes I mean you see Hasbro own things you see merch for them so I don't see there being any change uh, initially I guess I should say as far as like merchandising rights clothing things you're gonna see I think we'll probably see more official things they might tighten up on fan created things since it's theirs um, I'm not sure how that's gonna go I'd like to talk to uh, I'd like to talk to some people who are really familiar with Hasbro and Transformers and stuff to see how they feel about this but this is a big company Hasbro 
Hasbro's much bigger. I mean, y'all, you ever seen Transformers movie? That's Hasbro. You know, G.I. Joe, you, My Little Pony, like, this is, this is crazy. I'm not gonna call for any crossovers or anything yet. I want, what I would love to see going forward with this, at least in the short term, is I just wanna see what they have short up a bit. I wanna see the, the, the TV show getting a bit, bumping that age range up, you know, trying to bump it up from, look, figure out a way to get it out of that preschool kind of as it is right now. It's being made for, I mean, I have a friend and she has like a five, six year old. I mean, he loves Power Rangers because he's six. Maybe, maybe, bump, maybe, maybe you start writing to like seven year olds. That's all, all I'm asking. That's where I'm going to end this one. I'm, I'm just going to cut this right here. I will see you at the next part of the video. I'm not sure how many days I'm going to get this stretched out to. It depends on anything else I get recorded. But I'm going to talk about, uh, hopefully, a bit more about TV show and production. I want to talk about maybe the future of movies. And I want to talk about my opinion on what might happen to other properties, such as Hyperforce, Boom Studios. Man, Imagine X? Maybe not good for Imagine X. I'll see you at the next part of the video, guys. My name is Andrew Liz. Have a great day.